From lightning fast to leisurely, I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Today on At Your Leisure, we will find out what it takes to drive 500 miles per hour and break the land speed record. You can't get much faster than that. Then Chad and I take it a bit more slowly as we find an Italian destination on the West Coast that makes for a memorable boating excursion. They even sing for you. Finally, we'll hit the Arizona desert by ATV on the outdoors with At Your Leisure. can't make it to Venice, Italy, this is the next best thing. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Ria Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. And no, we're not in Venezia, we are not in Napoli, but we are in Naples, California, at a place called Gondola Getaway. This is a place that I first discovered way, 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 way back in the old boat world days. And we decided, hey, if you're gonna have a sunny California getaway, this is a place to go. So here we are, and we're gonna get on a gondola and do some Romantic sailing. Gondoliering, yes. As a matter of fact, this place has changed a lot since I was here last, and we're going to show you those differences. But first, we've got an ATV adventure for you that has a real different twist in the turns of a slot canyon. A line of ATVs on a hill. It's a picture many of us have in our minds from trips with friends or maybe a jamboree outing. It's an image that symbolizes everything we love about the outdoors, adventure, exploration, family bonding. Today outside Florence, Arizona, Charles Lutz, owner of Arizona ATV Adventures, is taking a tour group out into the wilds of Box Canyon. Some of them are experiencing a trip by ATV for the very first time, and this is their introduction to that world. When it comes to history and beauty, they'd be hard pressed to find a better primer than this. Today we uh, took our tour, Arizona ATV Adventures. We went. Uh, about 34 miles, and we explored uh, an area known locally as Box Canyon. Box Canyon is uh, kind of special. It was a shortcut used by the Butterfield Stagecoach Company during the 1800s between Globe, Arizona and Florence. The canyon itself, uh, there are places where the walls are up to 800 feet high on both sides, and the riverbed that we rode down, there are places where it's only 15 feet wide. The desert has a beauty all its own, and out here with the towering cacti and expansive blue skies, that fact is readily apparent. The town of Florence is about 50 miles southeast of Phoenix. By heading east from downtown on the 60 freeway for about 30 miles and then heading south on Highway 79, you find this arid place of surprising green. The ride through the desert toward Box Canyon takes you through this environment and is very eye-opening since you would think that no plants could survive in such a dry place. Once you enter the canyon, the ride takes on a more intimate feel, what with the close quarters and sheer walls. While pioneer and Native American history is apparent as well, some of it reaching back 80 or 90 years, and some even further. The canyon itself tells the tale of the struggles that existed in the Arizona Territory in the not too distant past. It got its name because at that time in the 1860s, we were at war with the Chiricahua Apaches and they would climb up the side of the canyon walls and push down boulders to block the stagecoach as it came through. Then they'd go down and kill the driver and passengers and steal any jewelry or weapons. And uh, they would essentially box in the stagecoach and that's where it got its name. Arizona ATV Adventures leads tours out of the Florence area, but Tucson and Sedona as well, taking riders through lands so epic that they've been filmed in countless movies since the early days of Hollywood. I mean, you know, John Wayne, Yul Brynner, Jackie Cooper, these guys have all walked down the trails you're riding down. It's really neat. And, you, you know, it's easy to prove. One of the things that I thought was interesting that I learned about riding Box Canyon that actually has nothing to do with the canyon is that Charles and Arizona ATV Adventures are actually the only permitted tour agency. Not because he got exclusive rights, but because the permitting process itself has become so expensive for the government, what with environmental surveying that needs to be done and processing requirements, that they've kind of put the lid on it, so to speak, which is something that doesn't seem quite right to Charles. So I got a call one day about, now it's been 10 years ago, and uh, they said, well, congratulations, you hold the only permit 
and we don't anticipate that there'll be another one even considered in two, until 2024. Okay, <laughs> I have a, a government-issued monopoly. It's incredible, but that's what's going on. That fact does add to the mystique of Box Canyon, but luckily, you can legally ride the area on your own without a guide if you so wish. Charles will even point you in the right direction since he wants everyone to see the beauty of his backyard and experience the delight of an ATV excursion. Many of us have fond memories of trail rides through the wilds of the western U.S. that have framed our very lives in scenes like these. A line of ATVs on the horizon means adventure is right around the corner, and whether you're in the middle of historic Arizona lands or just exploring your favorite loop, there will always be something new to find when you ride the trail. People are loving it. They came here because they wanted an outdoor activity, and they sure got one. From outside Florence, Arizona, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. If you'd like to make your way to Florence and try riding ATVs in a slot canyon, Florence is located just to the south and east of Phoenix. You take I-17 south and then head southwest from Phoenix to the town of Florence, and you can sign up for that ride there. Now, if you want to sign up for this ride here, the guy that makes it possible is Mike O'Toole, the creator of Gondola Getaway. Now, Mike, this was a college project? Yeah, indeed it was. I had to start a business on paper up at USC and then show it running throughout the semester. And so we had to go through the whole business licensing and planning department. But as a student, I suggest it to anybody starting a business because as a student, it's open arms, there's no red tape. It's not just the romantic couple. It's an amazing, simple boat ride out into a beautiful area. Is the secret the boats? No, I think the secret is that the, the boats certainly attract the people because everybody around the world has heard of a gondola, or so many people have, and so that's kind of got this romantic or exotic, you know, off in a faraway land type boat. And so if you just said we're going in a, in a big rowboat out for a ride, you might not get them. But once they get here and they're out there, it's the area that we operate in, it's the size of the canals, the number of bridges, the height of the bridges, the circuitous route that we go around. And so when you leave here, all of a sudden you're back here and you don't know how, you, don't, you didn't see any turns or anything. Listen, thanks for the interview, Mike. Appreciate it very much. Okay, Rhea and I, now that had just set the plate. Are you hungry for a gondola ride? Because that's where we'll be when we come back after this commercial break. This is going to be a great slick rock trip. Yeah, but we've already been. What is that? Should we stop? Is your mountain bike in Cedar City, Brighthead? I didn't even know they have that. Is it any good? Good. Just ask him. Hit the trails in Cedar City, Brighthead and find that new adventure you've been looking for. Follow Ular to Cedar City, Brighthead and discover a playground of mythic proportions. Family, a simple word that carries more meaning than we can even understand. We base our entire lives around the smiles of our children and the moments that become cherished memories. At Ray City RV, we understand the importance of that family bond. As a family-owned business since 1946, we've been giving our customers the chance to make those memories in the backcountry of the West. Early spring savings on all Ray City RV camp trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes can make it more affordable than ever before. Ray City and Roy, turning dreams into memories one trip at a time. Ah, uh, there's nothing to bring out romance 
like the sounds of an Italian tenor. An incredible gondolier we have here. <laughs> Bachelors in music right here. That's Bachelor right. of music. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the gondola getaway down here in Naples. And I feel like I really have to talk softly right now because I don't want to interu interrupt this beautiful serenade. Yeah. Any, any reason you'd think why people don't just fall in love here? I mean, can't you just see Lady and the Tramp like oh, sucking yes. on the bowl of spaghetti? <laughs> oh, I can totally see it now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are in Disneyland, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Pretty much so. <laughs> That's right. All right, well listen, we have uh, got a little bit more of the uh, canals to show you and tell you a romantic story. But right now it's time for us to go to our product review. I think it's a song review today. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder, and we've got a really cool product review for you today. It's the new 900 Ranger Crew Cab. This thing is just like a Cadillac. It's smooth and comfortable and a whole lot of fun to drive. So come on, let me show you some of the cool things about it. Polaris 900 Ranger really has a lot of great features, but one of the things that I like the best about it is how quiet it is and what, how, what a nice ride it has. I mean, it really is the Cadillac of machine. machine is very well done. Up here in the front you can see that it does come with a standard tube front bumper on it that has the ability to take a winch. It's all bolted in there ready to go. You got double AR front suspension on it, coil over shocks, fully adjustable, and you got disc brakes on the front wheels along with these PXD tires. Now one thing that's really nice is that this seat can be adjusted forward and back very easily. Um, so you, if you're a smaller rider or whatever, you've got a lot of room in here. The seat is really wide and comfortable. And then the other cool thing about it, it folds forward and it reveals this huge storage bin down in here that you can put all kinds of stuff in. So it really is very versatile. Now back here you can see there's a pre-air filter right here and this allows the air to go in for your clutch system. There's one on the other side as well that allows it the air for the motor. And you look underneath the bed here and you can see the motor. It's, the motor's a little bit different than the one that's in the Razor. It's still a 900cc, but instead of having as much horsepower, they put more torque in it and it comes in at a lower RPM. So they change the clutching a little bit. So this is more of a workhorse. So even if you get a bunch of people in it, a lot of gear in it, everything else, this thing is still going to have the oomph to go up and climb up those big hills. Well, if you want to check one of these new Ranger 900s out, get into Stedman's out in Tooele, and they'll show you all the cool features, plus all the toys you can add to this machine. I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. What you're looking at is the world's largest off-road lineup. Ranger, Sportsman, Razor, all industry leaders and all on sale now. Sportsman started just $51.99. Razors under $10,000. Rangers start at $89.99. And top of the line XP900s come with a free winch. Get huge rebates and low monthly payments during the Polaris XP sales event. At Stedman's Recreation in Tooele, you'll find your best deal on Polaris. When customers come into a dealer to buy a motorhome, they want that dream of having a motorhome. They want to be able to use it. They want to be able to take their family out, but they have concerns. They have concerns of how much they're going to use it, how much it's going to cost them. What if you could make money on that RV? One of the things with Pappy's, we give them an option to be able to rent that motorhome, get some great tax benefits, and produce income during that time frame. We take care of their maintenance, we store it, gives them the benefits of being able to basically go out and buy a new motorhome for the cost of an old one. 
Polaris Snow Check Select is going on now. Pre-order your custom 2015 Polaris snowmobile at the best prices of the year. At Triple S Polaris, we're going above and beyond, offering the most customization options on the number one mountain sled available. With the S3 Snow Check package from Triple S, upgrade to a 155, 163, or 174 inch Camelplast X3 track for the best deep powder performance you've ever experienced. Snow Check through April 15th and hit the mountain like never before. Triple S Polaris, service to the power of three. Welcome back to At Your Leisure out on the gondolas here at the Gondola Getaway down in Naples. Now, I know the canal's in Naples, but we've already covered that. We'll cover it again before we're done. Now, you know, Rhea, this place, I mean, obviously, if you're out on a gondola ride, that's total romance. But the question is, does it really stick? Oh, it sticks all right. We have this wonderful couple with us here and their two babies. And that is Paul and Mari and their little daughters. This is Adriana and... Aaliyah, and this guy right here proposed to his lovely wife 11 years ago today on this boat. And you have the sweetest family. This is so romantic. I mean, who would think to, do you come out here every year or just, did you just decide to do this this year? We've done it a few times, but we thought this would be a, this is our 10 year anniversary coming up for our wedding, so. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I said 11. So that's well, fantastic. That that was when they proposed. Yeah. So my question for you, Adriana, is this your first gondola ride? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. What's so cool about it? Uh, <laughs> that we're riding in that gondola, and it's cool because we see all these beautiful houses. Yeah. We see birds and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. What do you think, Aaliyah? She's just going to smile at She's me. just too cute. She doesn't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this uh, this does provide a great opportunity and obviously ideal for anniversaries and for proposals. Love stories do uh, happen on the gondolas even when they're uh, not in uh, Venice, when That's they're right. in uh, Naples. Anyway, right now it's time for us to get on to our trailhead adventure. What does it take to break a record? Determination for sure. Hard work, maybe some innovation, and probably a bit of luck. For Rick Vesco, all those things come into play, but at over 400 miles per hour. At that speed, there isn't room for even the slightest error, which is where the innovation and luck come in. Rick is looking to become the fastest man in the racing world, continuing a family legacy that stretches back to the early days of auto racing. I've been out here since I was a little kid in, in 53 with my dad. He started in 1933 and the first race on the Bonneville Salt Flats was in 1949. The car behind us, the 444 car, my dad built that in 1957. It's an antique car but we hold uh, four records with it and we're working on another one now. That new record is actually one the team already holds. In 2001, the Vesco crew broke the land speed record on the Bonneville Salt Flats at 459 miles per hour. They were even faster than that on one of their practice runs. Now they have their sights on a new goal, pushing the 500 mile per hour mark with a Turbinator 2, a vehicle they've been building for several years. This new body is all carbon fiber. It's an extremely strong composite material like they use in stealth fighters and all that stuff. It's extremely light. It's, it ends up being about 40, uh, percent lighter than fiberglass and it's about twice or maybe three times stronger. Team Vesco is one of the most skilled and experienced groups in the world for building Bonneville racers. With a machine as powerful and fast as these, every aspect of construction must be carefully thought out and built to exacting standards. Nothing is left to chance when you're moving more than half the speed of a bullet fired from a 9 millimeter handgun. As they've worked on the Turbinator 2, Team Vesco has found subtle changes in safety gear can actually alter the entire design of the vehicle. Every couple of years you have to get a new helmet and as they improve safety, the helmets have been getting wider. And since 2001, the helmets got so big that it wouldn't fit in the car. So I had to change the entire roll cage and actually build a bigger headrest here. Technology also has changed how the Turbinator will run on the flats. Back in the 50s and 60s, the instrument panel required a lot more space and weight than it does in 2014. The engine itself has taken similar steps in the 21st century. 
The new engine doesn't require some of the gauges because it has what they call a smart start system on the new engine. So uh, it's more current like what a new helicopter engine would have. They just push the button and the thing runs on up and it won't start if any one item in the engine's wrong, it won't start. So they call it a smart start. So that'll be good for me. I won't have to think about it. The Turbinator 2 is now finished and will race this summer at Speed Week to see if the 500 miles per hour barrier can finally be breached. Breaking a record is rarely about making money or becoming famous or even beating your competitors. There is something else that drives these men and women and for salt flat racers, it's no different. Out here, records aren't meant to be held onto. They're meant to be broken, which is why the Turbinator 2 is ready to hit the salt. Bonneville is uh, considered kind of a total loss sport and what I mean by that is it's a it's one of the last amateur sports in the automotive industry and motorcycle industry that just about anybody can participate but uh, there's no prize money there's nothing nothing to win you get a trophy if you set a record and, and the satisfaction of something that you've built you know achieving a goal and in this case, that goal is to be the fastest wheeled vehicle in human history. We'll find out this summer if the Turbinator 2 is up for the challenge. And here on At Your Leisure, we'll keep you updated. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. That's a great story, and we like to thank Rocky Mountain ATV MC every time. They're always there for us. That's true, and they do tell great stories. They do. Now, is this place rather new or has this been around for a while? Actually, um, it dates back all over a hundred years and uh, you know there were a couple of guys out duck hunting and uh, they got out a napkin and started saying you know you know with these marshes they've got little channels in it It kind of looks like Venice. I wonder if we could build a community here and pretty soon they got thinking well there are trolleys that come all the way down from Los Angeles maybe we should do it and they actually started building this community with the circular canal in the middle and, uh, and started to sell lots. And when you stop to look at it, really, this island and the sound out here that we're sitting on, this jetty, is a lot like Venice, really, because there mm -hmm. is a long, sandy bar out there it's called the Lido, mm -hmm. and then the big bay where Venice sits. And so it really is configured a lot the same way. Right. And I noticed the water is much cleaner. Oh, well, so you- I swim in this water. <laughs> you have been to Venice. Venice, yes, I understand. <laughs> so anyway, I was glad that those people had the foresight to do it, and I'm glad that the city of Long Beach has kept it up because it really makes for a unique little getaway, and there's so much other stuff to do here. It's magnificent. Bring the kids. That's right. Well, stay with us. We'll be back with more of At Your Leisure. Still ahead, our contest winner and how you can come down and try it. Parents, let me tell you a little secret. Your kids do not want to go boating with the neighbors or with friends. They want you to take them boating. They want to build lifelong memories with you. Take them fishing, skiing, tubing, wakeboarding. Take them out boating. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. Can't get enough of the outdoor excitement you can only find here in the West? Well, look no further than at your leisure. No matter how you like to recreate, no matter where you like to go, no matter what flavor of adventure you crave, you'll find it on AYL. Saturday nights at 10.30 and Sunday mornings at 9 on ABC4 Utah. When you get off the trail or get off the lake, you want a clean place to come back to. When you come back to the Hilton Garden Inn, we take care of you. We've got quite a bit of luxuries that I love here. The Office Lounge is a great place to have dinner, have a cocktail if that, if that fancies you, and you can just sit down and relax. If you need to get to the trails, our front desk agents are amazing. They already have the maps printed out for you so you don't get lost wherever you're going. To make sure that you have a comfortable, clean environment with very helpful, friendly people. The 2014 Ski Doo Summit, featuring the T Motion suspension and Flex Edge track. The suspension flexes. The track bends. Mountains break. T Motion and Flex Edge for a more responsive and agile ride. It's technology you'll only find 
on ski -Doo sleds. The 2014 ski -Doo Summit. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here in Naples, California. That's true, and just below us, there's the big crowd. <laughs> Hello, it's the pizza crowd. Okay, yeah. That <laughs> looks like a fun party. Can we dive in? <laughs> Can we hit your ride? We, all right, we're going to dive in. <laughs> This is how much fun it's been down here. Is the, the, the people that work for Gondola Getaway are just a heck of a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, they are. So anyway, we have a lot of business to do. We still have yet to tell you how to come down and enjoy this adventure, and we'll do that straight away. But right now, it's time for us to look at this week's contest winner. Well, thanks, Chad. I'm Stephen Human, and I have our winner. Now, he posted this picture on Facebook. Scott Robbins is showing his AYL pride right there. You can see the sticker. It's just too bad the Razor seems to have had a bit of an accident. Well, Scott, you win an American Trails bag that will help you on the trail and maybe hold some of the pieces from that rollover. Call us this week at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Remember, you can get your AYL stickers at any At Your Leisure sponsor or at any event that we are participating in. We always have them on us, so do not be afraid to ask. We also had a photo contest this week on Facebook, and we had hundreds of submissions to go through. But we chose Jim Anderson's picture. Check this out. There is nothing like looking down on the world in the beauty of the West. Jim, you're the winner of some Dutch oven gear, courtesy of our friends at CampMade. Check them out, everybody, at CampMade.com. You'll want to become a fan of AYL on Facebook because we have lots of giveaways and we actually have some international vacations coming up that you and your family can win. This week we'll actually be giving away a Camp Chef stove on Facebook, so become a fan and sign up to take home these great prizes. Now we have our calendar of events, things that you're going to want to do in the coming weeks. On April 4th, 5th, and 6th, Triple S Polaris is having their second annual Moab Ride. This is a fun event. We'll be there from AYL, so you should join us. Call 801-479-4455 or email triple S sales at comcast.net to register. Explore the Red Rocks of the Southwest and enjoy a barbecue dinner Friday night. This is going to be a great experience. And now let's move on to next week's show, the last thing on our list. We're swimming with some aggressive aquatic life and rock crawling next week as we set our sights on spring. First off, we'll hit an indoor destination that puts you up close and personal with some underwater critters. Then join Terry Wood from a rock crawling event where the stone has been designed to be the perfect obstacle. Finally, we'll find out how music and recreation go together. It's all here in one week on At Your Leisure. Next week's show looks great. You know, it's always great to get out in your own community and support your culture. Rhea, wasn't it a great day today? Indeed it was, Chad. And we'd like to thank Gondola Getaway for a great day. And if you want to have your own Italian experience, you can contact them at gondolagetawayinc.com or give them a call at 562-433-9595. We would also like to thank the Anaheim Hilton Hotel for their accommodations. You know, it's great to have fun and be adventurous during the day. And then go back to great, luxurious hotel, so we thank you all. Well, that's all the time we have here today, so remember, between now and the next time we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family, your friends, in the great outdoors. At your leisure. What a perfect spot. No wonder you Italians are so romantic. Oh, I love a gondola ride.